Hey, how's it going, Art Nerds? And welcome back to the channel where every time you watch, you lose a little less of your dignity. It's the Diddy Mark channel. Now, I know you read the title. There's no point trying to pretend like I don't know that you know that I know that you read the title. What? So let's cut the bullshit, shall we? What is this video gonna be about? You may be asking your screen, young Art Nerd. Well, don't stress a single pretty little hair on your pretty little head, I'll tell you. In this video, we're gonna be going over my discography. I'm gonna be taking my sweaty ass hands and grabbing a tight hold of yours so what I can guide that? you on a journey with me of every single manga or project I have worked on. Well, at least ones that are available online. You know, I can't show you stuff I've never that I've never put online. Yeah, yeah, whatever, you get the picture. So yeah, we're gonna, going to be going, taking a look at and analyzing my oldest work that's findable on the internet and making my way down, powering through all the many, many terrible, terrible, no good, very bad, horrible artwork and cringe dialogue to inevitably make it to my most recent work. Right. So yeah, before I jump ankle deep in this bitch, why? Why make this video? I'm sure some of you may ask, what's the reasoning? What's the point? Is Diddy Mark just trying to flex on us? Well, mainly no, but partially yes. I am flexing on you a little, so... <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I do have a very, very, and I cannot stress very important point to this video and what I'm doing in it. But you have to wait till later in this video when I conclude to find out what that is. FYI, you're not going to want to miss it because I rounded out very nicely if you ask me. <laughs> Okay, so before I move forward, really quick, this video is brought to you by me, Diddy Mark. Yes, I realize I've never plugged any of my stuff anywhere else besides the end of my videos before, so I figured why not put a plug smack in the middle for a change. So yeah, if you right there, yes, you, I'm talking to your fine self, if you want to support me and help put my cat through med school, consider checking out my Patreon. You get all types of perks by being a subscriber, including but not limited to layered clip studio files for all my comics, so you can look at that if you want to study. You can get my comic slash manga projects weeks to months early like before they actually release you can get all my youtube videos days to weeks early my exclusive live stream vods my drawings my study sketches and so so much more so yeah my patreon if you want to support a brother the link is in the description down below anyways without talking too much let's get back to the video so yeah, I don't want this video to be long at all. I will try my best to let you all suffer through my terrible old art and cringe dialogue as quickly as possible. But yeah, let's start with my earliest work that's available on the internet and for some reason I cannot understand, I called it Iris Dark. Yes, I'm aware it sounds like an edgelord's wet dream, but yeah, as you can see by this abysmal cover drawing, my art has come a long way. This was when my main artistic influence was Masashi Kishimoto. Also. Ew, why did I draw this guy's face like this? Oh my god. Oh, you can tell my anatomy game was just straight dookie butter, man. <laughs> Bro, at this point, I was just making up muscles. <laughs> but to be honest, I kind of like the font that I used here. I think this font is called like Anime Ace or something. I only use wild words now, but man, it just reminds me how much of a long way that I've come. Oh, FYI, I made this, you know, Iris Dark in 2020. Anyways, I'm doing a quick scroll through here of the first part of chapter one. Oh yeah, for some reason, I released the first chapter in parts. Anyways, let's end all our suffering and skip to the last part here, part 7. And ooh, so as you can see here in this panel, I had the protagonist have the power to travel through shadows. To be honest, that was kind of cool. Anywho, this is the last page and my goodness, I was proud of this page when I actually drew it back then. I remember it so well how happy I was with this page. Looking back on it now, it looks so bad, man. <laughs> I mean, look at that tree. It looks obviously like not drawn, you know? Like I obviously found a picture of a tree and put it in here, you know, and like set it to grayscale and I apparently thought that would be <laughs> enough. Anyways, whatever. Let's move on from this nightmare of a manga onto the next project that I put out and only the most OG of my followers might remember this one <laughs> see what i did there might remember <coughs> ah okay l pun l pun anyways that manga one shot was called iron might and man i remember this one shot and i remember how proud i was of it when i first put it out also this is the first project where i first officially went by the name dd mark and of course i had to do something with superheroes because i'm already a huge fan of superheroes in general but murata was my biggest inspiration here so i just wanted to do something similar to one punch man but yeah as we're scrolling you can see how much of an insane improvement at least visually i've made compared to my previous work iris dark like damn i'm still kind of proud of some of these pages and panels you can also see this time that my main artistic influence has shifted from masashi kishimoto to 
you know, like I just said, Yusuke Murata. And so everything that I'm seeing here for me, it's so cringe because it's just so wannabe Murata. It's funny. And yeah, as I'm doing a quick scroll here, I'm still really liking everything I'm seeing. Don't get me wrong. The story is hot cross buns, but like artistically, I'm kind of not cringing so much here. And yeah, when it comes to story as a creator, you can tell I didn't really care too much about an engaging story as much as I did the artwork around this time period. And in all honesty, I wouldn't care too much about a good story until later down the line. FYI, this one shot dropped on November 2020, two months after I stopped Iris Dark. And yeah, anyways, you can see this is when I start trying my hand at drawing action. Anyways, that's enough of the Iron Might one shot. Now let's take a look at the next thing that I made, the Iron Might series. So yeah, I made Iron Might into a series from a one shot because I liked it that much. Now the thing is, that series started in 2020, shortly after the one shot, but I don't have what those pages look like, only the remastered version that I did a year later in October 2021. But yeah, anyways, this is the remaster of chapter one of Iron Might. I remember this was the first time I put something out and got an overwhelmingly positive reception. I mean, artistically, it's a huge, huge improvement since the one shot. I mean, this color page is still slap today, bro, to be honest with you, I would reuse this if I wanted to. Like that's how good they hold up. Anyways, my attention to crafting a good story started to be more of a thing during this time period. You can also see how I'm forcing myself to get even more comfortable at drawing action. Like look at all these panels and pages of action I drew in this chapter. But yeah, whatever. That's all I need to say for this one to be honest. Now, for the sake of time, let me speed through the rest of my discography so I can finally get to the point of why I'm making this video in the first place. Okay, so next up was Ruthless Render, the one shot. I dropped this in November of 2021. I remember making this one shot for the sole purpose of A, getting better at action and B, getting better at drawing horror and monsters. And my goodness, you can easily tell those were my priorities because the story was very... <laughs> <laughs> the story was very, very lackluster, but oh well, without this one shot, we wouldn't have the version of RR that we have today. After the Ruthless Render one shot, I then made the Metal Souls one shot. The story again, eh, lackluster. I was too focused on drawing action and cool imagery and overall just being a Murata clone. I made this in 2021 as well, in case you were wondering. My next work after that one was then the Metal Soul series, which started in February 2022. And as of me recording this, it's still ongoing with five chapters. Doing Metal Souls is when I feel I really understood drawing action and fight scenes. I had my aha moment with how action and movement should be drawn. And it's in Metal Souls where I would argue my best action panels are. Probably. Anyways, while drawing the Metal Soul series, this is when I put more of a priority on my story. But artistically, I wasn't comfortable with what I was doing. I felt my art lacked personality. I didn't know it back then, but subconsciously, I hated that I was just a cheap knockoff Murata clone. I knew deep down my art style didn't feel satisfying because it didn't feel like it was my own. But this wouldn't be the case for long, as in my next, for this video last, and most recent project, Ruthless Rendered This Series, I actively went out of my way to overhaul my art style. And I haven't done this since when I went from Iris Dark to Iron Might. But yeah, Ruthless Render Chapter 1 is my most viewed, most liked, and most well received work I've ever done. Also, in my own personal opinion, it's got the best art and story of all my works, and I personally like it way more than anything I've ever done before. While drawing Ruthless Render, I found artistic inspiration in Tatsuki Fujimoto and blended that with my already Murata heavy art style to then create the art style that I have now. In all honesty, it's more simple than my previous style and way less try hard and maybe some may even say it's worse but to be honest i personally prefer it a lot more it feels more like me than my other art style before and yeah with that said that is the last project i've worked on but yeah before i forget what is the point of this video i promised i'll tell you guys and i'm a man of my word so i will the point of me making this video is because I've been asked hundreds of times how I air quotes got this good. You know, people are always like, dude, you're so good. I wish I could do that. Or they say stuff like, man, I wish I could make manga like you. I'm so trash, bro. And the thing is, <laughs> I didn't just wake up like this, man. I'm not Beyonce. <laughs> L joke, my bad. But for real, I had to make a lot of complete utter turds to eventually make something that is not so much of a turd, you feel me? I've had to fail my way to where I am now. I have drawn thousands of pages to get to where I am. And guess what, art nerds? I'm gonna need to draw a couple thousand more before I can even remotely come close to my goal of greatness at this. Do you see what I'm getting at here, you sexy art nerd sons of bitches? There's nothing special about me at all. I am no better than any single one of you watching this video right now in any way at all. I am just a man, so are my heroes, and so are yours as well, they're just people. If they could do it, then why can't I? And if I can, 
why can't you just sit down and do the insane amount of work you and I both know it'll take a matter of fact just use me as your drive to keep going when you feel you've drawn so much and it feels like you're not getting anywhere or any better remember how much it took me to air quote get good because when you remember how long it took me you then remember that this is a marathon not a sprint keep in mind the projects of mine that I covered in this video only span two years but remember I've been drawing comics for decades before I ever put any of them out online. So I've literally drawn hundreds of different comics to get here. But yeah, to sum up everything I just said in this conclusion, and honestly, in this video, this becoming a competent creator when you've got no talent or many resources even, or even if you do have resources, this still takes time. And I'm here to tell you and guarantee you that in this case, all that hard work actually does pay off. Thank y'all for watching this video. I appreciate it if you made it all the way to the end. You and I both know you already built different if you did. <laughs> Anyways, shout out to my also oh lovely patrons for helping produce this video because without them, I would be shaking an empty cup at strangers saying spare change. <laughs> like I said earlier in the video, if you yourself want to support me and help pay for my cat spending problem, the link to my Patreon is in the description down below. And with that said, don't forget to like the video to let me know you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button as well because that helps out the channel. And last but not least, don't forget to leave a comment because I read all and respond to most comments. Till next time, our nerds, it is I, Diddy Thousand Pages Mark. Peace and love, baby.